first of all, you know, you all just saying, let them go, let them go. First of all, y'all never gave me a chance to even go see them. Quit acting like you're innocent. You're either going to help me find her, or you're going to shut the fuck up. And that's the end of it. Especially because I know half of you are part of the problem of me getting cut off from her. I'm being humble, keeping my mouth shut about that to some of you. Quit pushing through bad advice to me. If you know that it's going to piss me off, don't just keep it to yourself. That's some wisdom for you. Trying to find the set is not Sodom and Gomorrah. That's you all being... You thinking you know best. You thinking that you get to control my directions. You are not God. I take your advice, you know, I'll hear your advice once. If I don't take your advice, quit telling me. I already told you, I'm not going anywhere until she's with me. Until I see her in person. Not going to Israel. You know, I'm not going to see people that want to see me right now until she's here. It would not be smart for me to do that. I'm already having trouble enough dealing with idiots being idiots and keeping my cool around them. When I tell you she keeps me level, I'm telling you she keeps me level. Just like your wives keep you level. If the most important person to you gets taken away from you, how are you going to react? Quit with the bad advice, dude. Shut your mouth about it. That's it. With that. Like I said, man, if you're not going to help me find her, mind your fucking business. Stay out of my business. If you are going to help me find her, awesome, dude. You're a person that I would actually take time to listen to your advice. Because you actually show me that you have a, that you care. It's not even that you have a heart. It's that you care. You love your neighbor. People who actually go in out their way to help their neighbor and to prove that they love their neighbor are the people that get my attention. Because that's what I do. That's a good mirror. 